Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if Windows can outload the sound card device driver and again a 39 error code. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward process and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing you want to do is open up the start menu, just lock on the start button one time, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-T-E-I-T, -E -E best man to trickle back a registry editor, you want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt you want to go ahead and left click on yes. And now that we're in the registry editor here, before you make registry modifications I would highly suggest you create a backup of the registry. So if you ever had to go back to the previous version it would be pretty easy to do so. So in order to create a backup you just would left click on the file tab, left click on export. Save the name as whatever you want, but usually the date in which you're making the backup is a smart choice and export range should be selected to all and then just do save to a convenient location like I said and if you ready to bring that back in just would do file and then import and just navigate over to the backup so pretty straightforward. So once you've done that now you want to go expand the H key local machine folder so either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to, to expand the drop down. Do the same thing for the system folder, same thing for current control set, same thing for control, scroll down to class, you really shouldn't have to scroll down that far for that. And now that you're in class you want to look for a folder that starts at 4D36, so I'm going to make this a little wire here, 43D36. So here you go, so 4D36E96C slash E325 slash 11CE slash BFC1 and there's a whole bunch of random letters after that. So on the right side you want to locate the upper filters and lower filters and you want to go delete both of them. So we're going to start with the lower one here, right click on it, left click on delete, left click on yes to confirm and then do the same thing for the upper filters here, left click on yes, close out of here. Next thing I would try would be to restart your computer and hopefully it's resolved the problem. If you are still experiencing a problem, you can go ahead and open up the start menu, type in device manager. Best match to go back with device manager. Just left click on that entry once to open up the device manager here. And now in the device manager you want to expand the sound, video, and game controllers. So again double click on it or left click on a little arrow next to it. Now whatever is listening here you want to go ahead and right click on it, left click on uninstall device, left click on uninstall, and then make sure any of your sound devices, like if you have an external speaker or something, just make sure you hook it up and then restart your computer and it should automatically be able to re-download and install the drives for that. So I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.